and welcome back to your beloved solar news. This is Kimberly Kennedy with Sun Energy California reporting the latest solar and renewable energy stories, progresses, and innovations. Are you ready? Because I am. The dream of driving a solar-powered car has continuously evolved throughout the years. In 1955, there was the cutest little car called the Sunmobile that was made from balsa wood and hobby shop tires. It had selenium solar cells on the exterior and used sunlight alone to make it run, even though it had less horsepower than an actual horse. Then, as years continued, the solar power car dream moved into a converted vintage buggy with its solar on the roof. And we can't forget about the glorified bicycle that crossed the Mojave Desert at 51 miles per hour. With this dream of sun-powered perpetual motion that doesn't damage the planet, there does come some big problems. One of those being the laws of physics and the setting sun. However, one startup claims that it has overcome those problems. Now its founders say the dream can be yours for as little as $25,000. Say hello to Aptera Motors, a California company. No surprise there. These guys are rolling out the first mass-produced solar car this year. It's a three-wheel, ultra-aerodynamic electric vehicle covered in 34 square feet of solar cells. According to the Washington Post, the car is so efficient that on a clear day, those cells alone could provide enough energy to drive about 40 miles, which is more than the distance of the average American's commute. But don't get too excited just yet. The Aptera must undergo safety tests before the company can start the distribution process, which it hopes to conquer by the end of 2021. Even then, it's not clear that customers will want to drive something that looks like a Batmobile and a Volkswagen Beetle had a baby. With transportation being the largest source of planet warming pollution in the United States, we're sending them our best in hopes that this is yet another step in the right direction of reducing vehicle emissions and driving on sunshine. I'm driving on sunshine, yeah! Texas homes with rooftop solar in 2021 and with battery in the garage to hold excess power may become a common theme after the state went through one of the worst winter storms in Texas history. With the soaring electricity prices and massive power outages after the collapse of the power system in mid-February, this will very likely be a turning point for many Texas natives. The Lone Star State has already 780,000 households with home solar systems, second only to California, according to the Solar Energy Industries Association but that's only 1% and still lagging behind in per capita installation. Unfortunately, the incentive to switch to residential solar is lower than places like Nevada, which tops the list with 1.3 megawatt of home solar capacity per person, more than 10 times higher than Texas. This is because Texas has relatively low energy prices. However, this may change that. After the state came to a complete halt when the temperatures fell to negative 11 degrees Fahrenheit, homeowners experienced freezing and busted pipelines and millions experienced a complete and total lack of power. At times, the gap between supply and demand widened to about 30 gigawatts. Texas grid operators were working overtime to avoid damaging equipment that could have left the state in dark for months. Because of this shortfall, electricity prices were since soaring 10,000%. This is horrible for customers on variable rate plans who are fully exposed to wholesale price fluctuations, leaving their utility bills in the thousands of dollars. It's no surprise that Texas will now need to spend money to beef up its infrastructure against extreme weather, which is only expected to get worse as climate change advances. This alone is going to take years. Not to mention, Texas prefers to go it alone as far as the grid goes to avoid federal regulation. This is why the state had nowhere to turn to when the power plants began going offline. Because of this, the state may also find its residents going it alone and generating their own power using solar panels and backup batteries going forward. That's all for this week, folks. We hope you enjoyed this solar knowledge drop. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you never miss an episode of My Face and Solar News. And as always, if you have questions about going solar, hit up Sun Energy California at 760-545-8466 or visit us online at sunenergyca.com. You've heard the bad. We've got the truth. See you next time. Bye.